is uh, longevity is something that, I mean, people are living longer and longer. Um, our planning software that we have out there, we can put in certain ages, but we don't know. I mean, you can talk about with clients there, you know, are your parents still alive? Is there, you know, what kind of health conditions are in your family, stuff like that. But that is definitely something that can, can affect it. If you, if you run out of money at, by mm -hmm. before you die, you know? Yeah. I think one of, one of David's, uh, recycled jokes is tell us exactly when you're going to pass away and we'll build you the perfect financial plan. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's obviously a joke, but there is some truth into it. It makes it a lot yeah. easier, but unfortunately nobody really knows. I think when we're building plans, you know, if somebody's retiring in at age 60 or 65, we're generally planning for about a 30 year period, mm -hmm. uh, about 30 years of retirement, 30 years of distributions from a portfolio, yeah. Um, you know, throwing social security in there, maybe they have a pension, maybe they don't something that's much more rare nowadays, but, um, that 30 year spot, I mean, you can only plan for so much. The goal is obviously at the end of that 30 years, not to have zero dollars. So there's some, mm -hmm. some flexibility to the plan. Um, but you can only, you can only plan so much and only, only do so much, but it's obviously with educated, um, data and, and plugging that in so that it's a, a plan that is sustainable over a longer period of time. Um, cause the biggest risk is you retire at 65 and you run out of money at 80, you know, and chances are with modern medicine, a lot of people are going to be living past then. Um, mm -hmm. and so you just want to make sure that it is sustainable to some extent. I yeah. saw something the other day that said like children born today could live to be 150. I was like, that's crazy. I'm, I'm pretty sure it said 150. It was, I mean, I was like, that's insane. That's like that's a, 60 that's more years longer than we are, you know, yeah, that's a, that's a lot of life. And, um, you know, it's also one of those things If that's life expectancy, then I would in mentally, I don't think people are going to be working and retiring at 50. Like, yeah. Right. <laughs> right. You've got a hundred years left of life to live. I think maybe you're not just going to spend the first 50 working or work looks different, you know? Yeah. Right. Something's um, got to give if people are living that long. That's right. That's right. Um, because, you know, like you said, if somebody retires at 65, we're planning on 95 or it depends on the situation. Maybe you don't have a, you know, family history of longevity and it, most everybody lives into their mid eighties, eighties. We've got 20 years to plan, but we're also going to plan and err on the side of conservatism where we're not just going to uh, plan on you having 10 bucks left to your name. Whenever you pass away at 85, it's going to be more conservative than that. So, but longevity can negatively impact a plan. If you live until you're 110 years old. Yeah, like that's right. Right. Years, How do you know, you know, at 95, you can years, easily, I feel like live to be a hundred. So there's five extra years. You kind of got a plan sure. for there. And what if you're in a facility for the last 10, like you're not mm -hmm. doing, or you need help at home for the last five or six. And, you know, those are just the things that can compound, you know, maybe there's some family help, but you obviously don't want to count on that. Mm -hmm. um, Any opinions are those of myself and not necessarily those of Raymond James. Expressions of opinion are as of this date and are subject to change without notice. The information contained in these podcasts do not purport to be a complete description of the securities market or developments referred to in this material. The information has been obtained from sources considered to be reliable, but we do not guarantee that the foregoing material is accurate or complete. Every investor situation is unique and you should consider your investment goals, risk tolerance, and time horizon before making any investment. Prior to making an investment decision, please consult with your financial advisor about your individual situation. Any hypothetical examples are for illustration purposes only. Actual investor results will vary. Raymond James does not provide legal or tax services. Please discuss these matters with the appropriate professional.